uh, is Lady Prime crazy and does she hoard and does she have too much? I think so, yes. What's up guys, Fanboy Prime here and today I am with Lady Prime. And once again, this is episode 3, which will probably be on the thumbnail, in the description, something like that. But it is episode 3 of Lady Prime's t-shirt collection. We're, we, did we say 30? <laughs> I wasn't even listening. <laughs> what do you mean? Did I say 30? Yeah. When? <laughs> I don't know if you said it was going to be 30 shirts. No, no, no I just said, just said it's episode 3. Oh, my bad. See? Of your wrestling shirt collection. collection. This is my uh, dyslexia. First shirt we're going to start off with. Is. This doesn't count, but you did give me this shirt. Okay, yes, the, I did get you that. The Southpaw Regional Wrestling shirt, which if you guys have no idea about Southpaw Regional Wrestling, uh, check it out. I think it's on YouTube. And I don't I'm know not, if it's on Peacock anymore. I'm not wearing a wrestling shirt, but I am wearing a Bruce Springsteen, and I'm feeling very patriotic today. I don't know. But anyways. Oh. <laughs> no, wait, not calling you one. That was my, that was my Jim Duggan. Yeah, well, if I, just, guys, I don't have a two by four, so I had to do the thumbs up. If you guys only knew yeah, what yeah. he really called me behind closed doors. <laughs> anyway, so first shirt we're gonna start off with is Mr. Nakamura himself. This was a pro wrestling crate. So I actually got a Nakamura oh, the, shirt because uh, the first one I had was a one K I made. Uh, K K O S S is what it says on there. King of Strong Style. Hold on, you oh, gotta. There you go. Right there. Yeah. Number one. Number two. Number two is Daniel Bryan. Ollie's favorite. <laughs> Respect the beard. There you go. Yeah, you're going to have to hold it like that so you get yeah. the full image. And then, of course, it has... So this is an official WWE shirt, right? Yes. This was bought before he won the title? Yes. I want to say we did because I was like, I got to get the shirt before, What? you know. I'm trying to hold up the one thing. Oh, well, come over here and do come the... Come here and do it. Do it, cause this is your favorite wrestler. You gotta do the, you gotta do it multiples. You gotta do that. You gotta do it. There you go. <laughs> Remember when? Uh, and then we have that video of him where he goes, yes, yes. Yeah, maybe we'll edit in baby, whenever he was. He I was, was a baby know. eating. Uh, I think it was pizza. I think so. We got him in yes. the high chair. So, so maybe we'll edit that in. Number three is the WrestleMania. This one was the one that Brandon had said in a. I swear we showed this in a video. You showed it. I was on a live stream. Yeah. Oh. I'll be there when he surprised me to for my first WrestleMania. Yeah, I surprised you at the TLC 2013 pay-per-view. That was in Houston at the Toyota Center. That was a good one because I got to see kids cry. <laughs> <laughs> we saw multiple kids cry, including my brother-in-law, his youngest brother. <laughs> John Cena lost that night, so kids cried. Uh, and it was so funny because... He was so upset, and he was like, oh, man, if I saw Randy Orton right now, I'd kick him in the nuts. <laughs> <laughs> he was so, so serious. I mean, it's basically the same shirt, but this is the one you bought. we bought at the WrestleMania in New Orleans. And it says, I was there. I'm a little upset because I don't own the official I was there shirt for WrestleMania 26. I have the WrestleMania 26 shirt that looks like it. But mine doesn't say I was there, and I'm upset. We couldn't get shirts that day when we were there because the um, oh the credit card machine was yep, down. Yeah, right? the level we were on the credit card card machine was down. So, alrighty, next up is CM Punk. I believe this one was inspired by The Walking Dead. I don't know. I feel like it was very inspired by The Walking Dead because it had BSDO. I used to say that at work all the time. Best since day one. It looks like my hair is hanging out, but that's a thread on this. That's a thread on this old Ring of Honor hat. Yeah, we can't find another one like that. And you don't throw away a good hat. Nope. The next one is a Matt Hardy shirt. Hardy's with the attitude. Well, I got it off the Matt Hardy website. Straight out of Cameron. I wore this shirt when I was seven months pregnant with Ollie, and we were at a Ring of Honor shirt, a uh, shirt, Ring of Honor show, and then that's when it was um, Adam Cole versus Christopher Daniels. Is that when they almost, when they crashed into the rails and it hit your stomach, or? Well, almost hit my almost stomach, hit. but yeah. That was a cool show. That was a uh, Glory by Honor 2014, I don't remember what, I think it was seven or something, I'm not sure. Next shirt is... 
a Dolph Ziggler shirt. This one I think we got at Walmart, and I just ended up cutting it. But yeah, just the Walmart when they were selling some wrestling shirts there for a while. Yeah, that was that was cool when they did that. Like they had replicas of the official shirts. Mm -hmm. And then the next shirt is my Ring of Honor shirt, inspired by oh yeah the, the ECW. ECW. Oh, I'm sorry. Am I hitting that? There you go. So you can see the bob wire. And the next shirt was All Star Extravaganza. The only pay per view we've set front row at. This is All Star Extravaganza. It was at the Shrine Auditorium. The Shrine Auditorium is where I go to, or where we go to for the Eggman's Card Comic and Toy Show. And so. Um, it holds a special place. This was a really fun night for us. Yeah. It was really fun, and it was me and Fanboy. His cousin and his... Um, well, I think my brother went. Yeah, and his then, youngest brother. And then Nightwing 207 went. Yes, he did. Because yeah. he sat at the end because I sat... Remember I almost got hit in the face by the oh, ladder. Ran... <laughs> <laughs> yes, he almost got hit by And then Brandon's youngest brother, um, Mark Briscoe, gave him oh, the bandana. His, his bandana, which I have because I felt he wasn't going to take care of it. Did he, he give just... it to you? I said, you want me to hold on to this for you? And he was like, yeah, hold on to it for me. So I still have it somewhere in a baggie for him if he ever wants it. She's back. not giving it to him. He'll have to bribe me. Give me some money for it. I'm just kidding. This was a Royal Rumble shirt 2017. in 2017. And it says, I was there. I'm still mad. We probably should have gone to this year's Royal Rumble. It's the, first, it's the first San Antonio one I didn't go to. And we should have gone to the to one in Houston, Houston when Edge came in. That yeah, one. I know. That's yeah. wrestling regrets right there. She probably would have cried. And this is mine, but it was given to me by Brandon's brother. WrestleMania 17. This is the shirt that when I, anytime I go to a WrestleMania, I wear this shirt. And then uh, people always... <laughs> Were you there? Were you, you've seen yes. it. Like, you're like, it's, oh, that's a good shirt. Yeah. <laughs> but... Fanboy Prime told me I'm not allowed to wear it. You're not. You didn't go. Because I didn't go. You didn't go. So I can't wear it to wrestling events can't. because then I would be a poser. Mm -hmm. That's not <laughs> <laughs> it matters. For the select few that were at WrestleMania 17, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. The next shirt is Sunny. You cut the sleeves off of that I one? I did cut the sleeves off. I shouldn't have, but... Didn't we see this shirt for sale on someone's... Uh... Yes, we saw it on... It was like on... Instagram because I'm always trying to hunt down cool vintage um, wrestling shirts and I think somebody had this for like two anywhere from two to five hundred dollars yeah it's crazy yeah this was given to me by Brandon's brother as well you see how she's reversing back and forth between fanboy and Brandon I'm not gonna beep it out anymore everybody did I say your name like a hundred times already I know I said it one time <laughs> it's hard anyways the next shirt is another Wrestlemania shirt this was... That's WrestleMania <laughs> Star. No, it's WrestleMania 32. <laughs> yes. 2016. 2016. That's in says, Dallas. I was there. Or Arlington. But yeah, the Dallas show. Next shirt is another shirt Fanboy Prime's brother gave me that I cut. I think that's one of the ones from like the mall kiosk Stone and stuff Cole. like that. I don't think it's an official one. I could be wrong. Is there anything on the back? Okay. I don't remember that being like a shirt you could order or anything. Yeah. Another, this one is the Elimination Chambers match or pay per view we went to oh, in 2015 yeah. in Corpus Christi, Texas. This is, okay, so this shirt or this event was originally just a house show and then they just randomly announced it was going to be a pay per view and that the Elimination Chamber was going to return. And so I think it was over Memorial Day weekend. And uh, signed up to go. And we got really good seats, like, despite us well, not I even... don't really think there's a bad seat at that place. It's kind of small. But for whatever reason, I guess it's built... The way it's arranged, it's built it's big enough... Because that was the reason they kind of didn't do Elimination Chamber pay-per-views is because the arenas weren't able to hold the cage or whatever. But however that one's built, they, they could do it. It's kind of weird. And there will never be another uh, Elimination Chamber pay-per-view in Corpus. I don't even think there will ever be another pay-per-view in Corpus. But that one was. The next one is an NXT shirt. Was this one? What was this one? That's San Antonio. San Antonio. 
That's... Oh yeah, this is when they were doing uh they were traveling. Oh, like their first. That's the house show. The house show. Yeah, yeah. Never mind. I was thinking that was the one what we saw before the Royal Rumble, but no. No. This is not a takeover. That's just an NXT. This was the one we saw. This one the night after All Star Extravaganza, right? Yes. Right. Yeah. My cousin went to the Houston show. The night of the Ring of Honor pay per view, they were in Austin, and then we went to the San Antonio show. The Houston show, my cousin got on to uh, one of the, 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 it was a network. I don't know if it's on Peacock anymore, but whatever special they were doing, you could see him uh, in the crowd, I, be I believe. And then at this show, I saw Mick Foley's son, Dewey, there. No, we saw him at the Ring of Honor show the, the night before. Oh, we did see him there too. Mm -hmm. And then he recognized you. I don't know how. No, because it, uh, I probably remembered that, because uh, remember the wrestler kissed you, and so then I pretended to make a big show about it. It was a romantic touch, yeah. and I was like, <gasps> and uh, I think he remembered that. I think he got a chuckle out of that. Yeah. He, I guess he was surprised. Oh, they're still together. They didn't break up. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> a next one is a CM Punk shirt. This was a Walmart, That's the Walmart, Walmart one, Walmart. one yeah. that I cut. That one's a little yellow now. Yeah, this is a little old. Nothing See, it's got nothing in the back, right? Next shirt is a Macho Man shirt, another one I cut. This is the one I got from the DVD. Oh, the box set. The box set. So it came with a shirt, and it came with some sunglasses. Oh, sorry. But, yeah. The next shirt is another shirt Fanboy Prime's brother gave me. You're cutting all these shirts out. I know. I was into cutting shirts back then. I don't know. Oh, the classic 316. Once yeah. again, I don't think that's an official WWE shirt. I think that was one of the ones that... But you can tell there was at one point where I was just into, like, just chopping off all the shirts. I don't do that really anymore. The next one is... Oh, here it is. Oh, there you go. The TLC pay-per-view. That's when they unified the titles the first time, I guess. Second time. Yeah, second time. Because they unified the WCW and the WWE. So that's TLC 2013. And then that was the night you had two handicap matches, CM Punk versus the um, the Shield, and then Daniel Bryan versus the Wyatt family. So. And it, was this the last time we would see CM Punk? Wait, you know, That's the last time we saw him in person. Yeah. Yes. The next one is an NXT TakeOver. That's the one before the Royal Rumble. That we went to see. And it was awesome getting to uh, see the entrance of Nakamura and... And Bobby Roode. Yeah, the crowd sang both awesome. entrances. <laughs> sang along to both entrances. There you go. We were there. And the next shirt is these guys. That's my shirt. I guess it's part of her collection. Part of mine. What's yours? I think that's a Walmart shirt. What's yours is mine, and what's mine is mine. Yeah, I think that's just a Walmart shirt, though. Yeah, this is so just a Walmart cool. shirt. And the next shirt is a shirt that I had gifted to Fanboy Prime, but he doesn't wear it. You see that shirt? I remember this. What size is small? I think we, I think we, and it's got a little dirty collar. I think we said we would give this one, we put this in Ollie's pile that yeah. he can wear one day. Which I'm pretty sure now that he saw the Daniel Bryan one. So. He got his eyes on I do remember that shirt. Man, I hadn't worn that in a while. I got bigger. And this, <laughs> it didn't belong to me, but it was gifted to us when Ollie James was a little baby. I mean, come on. This is part of your shirt collection. How cute. I'll never get rid of this. He was so little. There's a picture of us, all three. I We're think all wearing um, the same color, and they are ma Macho Man shirts. I think that's the night of WrestleMania 31. We were wearing our yes, Macho Man shirts to, we were. Uh, to watch the Look show. Look how cute. But yes. And this one, even though I, I already wore it in a video, but you guys didn't get to bask in the glory. That was the first shirt you showed off the last video, I think, isn't it? I was wearing it, yeah. Oh, is that what it was? Yeah, okay. But. Reach for the sky. Jay Briscoe. Pro Wrestling Tees. And the next shirt is The Macho Man. That's a third party t shirt company, right? That was yeah. just some kind of shirt you randomly ordered for me. I yeah. remember I wore it to church one time. <laughs> and somebody thought he was wearing a Cheech from Cheech and Chong. 
No, he thought it was Chong. He thought oh, he was like, like, wow, you're really good. He's like, is that a Tommy Chong shirt? He was like so panicked. I was like, no, man, it's the Macho Man. Uh, and the next shirt is... Oh, that actually, I cut the sleeves off this one, I think. Fanboy Prime cut the sleeves off of this one. I used I guess to wear he that. was trying to be Brock Lesnar. No, I used to wear that when I would go running in South Texas heat. Try to... He is the next big thing. I got that at an, uh, a house show, and uh, Brock wasn't scheduled to appear at the house show. It was, I think Big Show was the world title. He rest, uh, was world champion. He wrestled Edge, whatever, and then uh, like a disqualification, whatever's happening, you know. And then Lesnar runs out there, does a slide into the ring, gave Big Show the F5, and, you know, kind of walked off. And I was like, oh. That was awesome. So I went and ran and got and, myself a Brock shirt. And the funny thing is, is I hated Brock Lesnar when I first saw him. It just, I couldn't let go of... Him <laughs> destroying old... Jeff Hardy with the ladder? <laughs> well, not only that, but then the whole Stone Cold thing. Oh, like, gotcha, I was gotcha, like, gotcha. I was, It was a transitionary period for them. I, yeah, yeah. I was having a hard time with it, too. But he played a really good heel, so, I mean, it works, it works. Oh, uh, and this one... Is this is a, one of two of these jackets? One we of have. two of these jackets. It's, it's a CM Punk, similar, very similar to the shirt. You can see how old it is. Except it's... this one we found at a Goodwill. This is the one we found at a Goodwill because the other one that Fanboy Prime had got me, he was wearing it to work, and where he works, he I was got. Cleaning up, I was cleaning up bleach. He got bleach on it. So, luckily, we were able to find, score this one at a Goodwill, and I picked it up. But, it's a little tattered, but it's okay. And the next two ones are Christmas-themed ones, but, of course, you got to make it wrestling. So, me and Fanboy Prime switch it off one year. He oh, wears this, Warrior. and one year, this is the Ultimate Warrior ugly Christmas sweater. Sweatshirt. But it's really just a sweatshirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but the ugly Christmas uh, sweater design, yeah. Yeah. So there's that one, and the next one is, which is Sting, ugly Christmas sweatshirt. But yeah, that is 30 wrestling themed. It's 30 more shirts on your wrestling, oh, it's 30 more wrestling shirts in your collection. Yes. So. But yeah. All I have. I mean, I have more to show, but that'll have to be another video. Episode four. So, yeah. Well, with that said, guys, thanks. Uh, go ahead and leave your comments. Which one is your favorite shirt? Uh, is Lady Prime crazy and does she hoard and does she have too much? I think so, yes. No, no. You guys don't even know. Wait until. No, you know what? I'm going to give y'all a sneak peek of what it really is like next door and living with him. This video is over. <laughs> <laughs>